534. Nashville's morning news on Super Talk, Men and 97 WTN. Time for the Gang of Three Amigos. Jeff Malinoff is running the audio console and controlling the levels. Hello, Jeff. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, two thumbs up in my world. <laughs> oh, brother Jeff. Back with us again. Yes. As By always. popular demand. As always. Je- well, nobody else would work. Um, yes, this is true. <laughs> Ken Weaver's here. Hello, Ken. Uh, g- good morning, boys. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Uh, Ken, do me a favor and go to my Twitter feed if you could. All right. At uh, Dan Manda Show. Let's look at it here. Do you remember uh, Lena? One of our one of our favorite listeners, Lena, sent me a uh, sent me a tweet on a uh, Twitter. Yeah. And do you remember a while back we were talking about women who would pay a lot of money to like cry and stuff? Remember that whole what? thing? They go to this big camp out. Oh, they yeah, retreat, they would scream. $10,000. Oh, I know yell. where this is going. Yeah, so, I know where this is going. So, goodness gracious. Lena tagged me in a tweet on Twitter, and I retweeted it, at Dan Mandis Show. And it, uh... What in the Jeff, world? I, Jeff, I need some audio. Yeah. Oh, I let myself cry. <laughs> oh. Took a call. <laughs> so you you have you have a bunch of men, and it, it's quite the visual. You've got to check it out on on uh, at Dan Manda Show. All right, these are men. Oh, this is real. Too. Look to be age uh, well from the twenties up into middle age. Yeah, and wearing speedos. Some of them. Some, some of, them of them just underwear. Yeah, and they're in water. Looks like a uh, hot spring of some sort. And they're holding each other and crying. Just openly weeping. Yeah, what it's... in the world is going on? <laughs> and they're just they're they're just like screaming and they and again that that last image of the dude getting held by all the other dudes is the one that like yeah. gets me. Any sense of personal space is completely abandoned. And they're just holding each other really close. like, And there's like 30 of them. And they're in this hot spring. And they're all wearing bathing suits or underwear or Speedos. And they're just holding each other and crying. And and the caption says $10,000 for this great $10, experience. $10,000. What in the world is going on at this place? I don't... You know what? Is it sexist to say I could kind of sort of understand this kind of being a woman thing? Because women do that kind of thing. Women women are more bond driven, I think, than men. In that sense, women are more emotional. This is weird. Is this a sign that men are becoming more and more wussified? And I want all you people to know that all you folks that like for years have said, "Oh, man, this uh, man card has to be taken and all that stuff." I would never do this. There are very burly men. With tattoos and lots of facial hair that are holding each other in this video. Yeah, the uh, it's just weird. Fella in the middle there looks like he's got on some Jordans, like uh, Hanes underwear that uh, Michael oh, Jordan oh, was. Uh, I thought you were saying like the shoes. I'm like he has shoes no, in the no. water. <laughs> got uh, Michael Jordan underwear on. Let's yeah, say. yeah. I, I mean they're openly weeping. It, they, they are. Open, they, they are they crying are hard. You know what this is going to be? This is going to be the uh, Democrats after November 5th. Play the sound of them again. You want me to play yeah, the, the, the wailing? Play the little... The, I don't know what music this is. Oh, I let myself cry. <laughs> it works, uh, believe it or not. Uh, it all with you, with all the joy sounds like dukes. It's... I mean, and they are ugly crying. You know what I mean? You they are like ugly crying. You guys know that's what's not ugly. Barry Gibb singing it. That can't be Barry. No, Gibb. that's um, no, that. That sounds like a woman. That that's a woman. sounds like a BG. No, but man. I don't think it is. What? Okay, super texters. Who is that singing? I think it's some folk singer from the '60s. That's I what I believe. Cry. 
I don't know. I don't know who it so, is. Someone said those are the husbands of the crying women in the forest. <laughs> that's a, that's a that, good yeah, one. the husbands that's are crying one. because the women Love went out and spent ten thousand dollars to uh, go to some crying things. So the you pay ten grand. To yeah, do this. ten thousand dollars apparently to, to do like this. Go to like an all inclusive resort in Mexico or something for ten grand. Like enjoy yourself. Don't. That's exactly Dude, right. They are enjoying themselves. Are, are they? Like, well, yeah, they are. Why would they do it? They're wise. Made I mean, them are do you going to dump know. cinder blocks on your feet and enjoy that? No. These dudes are enjoying this. I, Why else would they do it? They spent 10 grand to go be held by another man in hot water in his underwear. I just have. So, so. All right. So, just so we're clear, uh, uh, Ken and Jeff and Johnny, if you're listening, if y'all ever come over to my house, we will not be doing this in my hot tub. No, we will not, Brother Dan. That is a... Uh, <laughs> Ken's like, that's a, good. Good. that's a given there, brother. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, uh, Phil, Phil says that uh, that sounds like Tiny Tim. <laughs> Tiny Tim. That's right. He, he's right. It does sound like and, Tiny Tim. And you know Tim. what's so funny? That ties in with a previous segment. Tiptoe wasn't, the tulips. Because wasn't Tiny Tim kind of like George Stephanopoulos, a tiny, angry man? No, he was actually, I, I think Tiny Tim might have been, uh, no, wait a minute. Wasn't he? i got to look him up. Yeah. I don't, I don't, whatever. And hey, if you're a Tiny Tim fan and he was not a tiny, angry man, okay, that's fine. How big an old boy was Tiny Tim? Donald Trump said that George Stephanopoulos is a tiny, angry man. I still remember the interview he did with him where he goes, like, I regret lots of things. I'm sure you regret lots of things. And uh, Stephanopoulos goes, what do I regret? He's like, well, uh, Donating to the Clinton Foundation, for one. Yeah. And, like, Stephanopoulos had nothing to say. Just, I think he was more shocked than anything that he said that. Well, here's, well, that's because nobody ever calls out yeah. uh, George Stephanopoulos for being a Clinton uh, operative. So, Tiny was, Tim was six foot one inches tall. Oh, okay. So, Tiny Tim. He was that, six one. That was a, that was like a, a nickname based on the opposite of what he really was. So All in I other words, figure. we can we can call Brian Wilson Tiny Brian. I wouldn't do that. And and we can call me Tall Dan. We could do that. Yeah. It's going to be a long uh, 4 hours here, guys. We, we, we got we got to run we got to run that by the PR department first. <laughs> I don't know if we have a PR department. We uh well moving right along. <laughs> so <clears throat> How was uh, everyone's 4th of July? Got lots of sun. I literally got lots sat here of it. Yeah, I, I worked. You worked. I, we know I, you worked, Jeff. Jeff, just so you know, like when I was your age, I and, and Ken probably did the same thing. We worked every Fourth of July, every Christmas Day, every Thanksgiving Day. It's called uh, cutting your teeth, paying your dues. Yeah. By the way, speaking of paying your dues, uh, also part of that deal is you got to give me and Ken five bucks each. No. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I need that for food, man. Apparently, Malinoff is drawing the line at giving me five dollars. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm just like I've, I've gotten like four hours of sleep, and then I'm after this job, I have to go to my other job, and then Saturday I go back to the studio. Then Sunday morning I come back to the studio, and then Sunday night I do my other job, and then Monday I finally sleep. <laughs> and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I'm back here doing this show with Johnny B. There you go. Well, very good because I'm going on vacation. So there you go. Very good. Well, thank you, Jeff. For you got again. roommates, brother Jeff? No, no. Uh, no. Well, you can sleep then, dude. I'm gonna. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I thank God I don't need roommates. So did I'm you guys? For that. So did you guys uh, shoot off any fireworks? Anyone? My neighbors did. Yep. All yeah. so, someone in my up, parking lot did. Yeah. Okay. All the way up to midnight. So we went to. Um, I you you can't see the mark on my forehead anymore. I was kind of hoping it would still be there. Why oh, you got hit with a firework? I did. <laughs> <clears throat> And it was Amy that lit it off, that lit the fire. Ah, ah, ah. So here's a so, little black cat at you, did she? So we go to a friend's house, a family friend's house. And um, everybody's there and everybody's lighting off their fireworks. And it's a big, <clears throat> big field, big backyard kind of a thing. And Amy decides we bought like fireworks. So she lights this thing on fire. Yeah. Has no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> let's off just, to a great start. Let's just light the fuse and see what happens. Lit it and threw it. 
So well, it was like a box. It was like a Pandora's box of fireworks. <laughs> So she lights it and she goes running. Yes, sir. And, you know, we got a couple of things, you know, sparklers, things go up in the sky. And then somehow, for whatever reason, all of a sudden, firework flames just start hurling towards me. And one of them hit me right in the head. <laughs> and then as I'm as I'm turning my head to my left. Yeah. I slam my head on a chair, on a metal chair. So I'm assaulted by a firework and a chair. I was not happy. Happy Fourth of Flippin' July. And I was already tired. Did it pop on your head or did it just hit your head, bounce off, and then pop? Uh, it was, I, I don't, you know, to be honest with you, Ken, I don't know what happened. Like, it was like a flame and it just, it was like a piece of shrapnel kind of a thing. And it just hit my head. And then I oh. jerked my head to my left, and I slammed it up against the uh, Ow. the chair. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, it's always the head with me. It's like <laughs> always the head. It's like I got to be like Les Nessman, just carry Band-Aids yeah. everywhere I go for whatever is going to happen on my forehead. He always had a Band-Aid, man. He always had a Band-Aid. If it wasn't on his head, it was on his arm. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. So that was fun. And, um, but we had a great time. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, you know, it's so funny is over the past, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning, uh-huh. I did, you know, midnight to five, did red eye radio. And then I did four hours <clears throat> here. I was fine. Mm-hmm. I was fine. I am dog a tired today. Like I am exhausted yeah. because I got home. Can I just also be honest? I drank a little bit over yeah. the weekend. <gasps> I had quite a bit actually. Yeah, I, uh, I I went past, uh, I, I got back, I came close to doing the old Ken Weaver ways yesterday. I had to be real careful yesterday. Really? Yeah, because uh, it was going down real smooth and it was real cold and I was having a real good time and just kind of got lost in it all there for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> then I realized uh, you got to go to work, Brother Ken. There you go. So are you going on? Because I'm going on basically no sleep since yesterday. I have about. not been asleep since 830 yesterday morning. OK. All right. So I'm not alone. No. All right. Very good. You know, the other My thing. My tongue feels like it weighs about 20 pounds. OK. My shoulders feel like they weigh about 20 pounds. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's going to be one of those days. It's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fine. We're going to get through it. We got Jeff here to inspire us. Mm. Yeah, because yes. you know, because you know, Ken, as bad as things could be for you and I, at least we're not Malinoff. I'm kidding, Jeff. I love you, brother. It's Jeff's just, got brother. Je- brother Jeff, he, he hasn't slept either. Jeff's like, no, he hasn't. Uh, and and uh, you know, Jeff. Very. And then again. I work the weekend. And then you work the weekend. That's exactly yeah, right. See, so. at least I, I don't have anything to do this weekend, but have fun. Yeah. And, and, I, and I, I'm going to do it. I've never been more looking forward to a Monday in my life because I know <laughs> I can sleep the whole day and then I can get up Tuesday and do this show and be more energized. But, yeah, this this weekend's going to be rough. By the way, people are, are telling us that, um, that on the Super Text line, you know, openly crying is actually, they say, healthy. Oh, I'm sure it is at a therapist office, not... That, that's what they... For me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That just doesn't sound healthy. Does that sound healthy to you, crying with a bunch? Well, Although, it's apparently a stress I, relief. I, I, think, I think crying in a certain environment is different, but I wouldn't do it there. Like, again, therapist office, like, maybe around loved ones, like, you know, during a tragic time sometimes helps. Like, right. Not, I think it, it depends on where. That's <laughs> yeah. not where for me. You Sorry. mean You mean in a hot spring? Being held by other strange men for ten thousand dollars. Wearing that's a not... speedo is too much for me. Let alone joining in in a spring pool <laughs> with random men. That Chuck's... would be the best part of it is being able to wear a speedo. Chuck says it sounds like the WTN boys trip. <laughs> oh no, that's, no. I'm gonna. <laughs> can I use my? Can I use my? Can I just use that as vacation days for myself? Sure. Although you're part-time, you don't get vacation. Welcome to WTN.
<laughs> uh, did I you? wish I had the guts to wear a Speedo out in public. That would be something. Do you know, I've never like, I was a... at a pool yesterday with a lot of people. Yeah. And at, at one point I thought, what would it be like if I actually had on a Speedo? Like, what would what would their reaction be? Kids get out of the pool. Kids get, we got to go. We got to go right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could try it. I've never, I've never actually worn a speedo in my life, dude. I when either. I lived in New Mexico, I had a neighbor across the street that wore a speedo all summer long, and it may have been the same one every day. Oh, good lord! He was he was in his seventies. Oh, he was a great dude. Oh. Yeah, did he, he ever like, always walk? in a speedo? Okay, so here's watering a, his lawn. Here's a question: Did you? Would he walk up to you in the speedo and say hello? Yes. So what do you do? Like I mean, do you... he wouldn't walk up to me. I would be outside smoking a cigarette, mm-hmm. and he would say, "Howdy, neighbor," and I'd wave back, say, "Hey, man," and then eventually, you know, sometimes uh, I would go to the edge of the street, you know, and smoke my cigarette, and I'd talk to him about what uh, was going on. You know, he he was having family over or something like that for the weekend. So do you, when somebody walks up to you in a Speedo, like, where do you look? I like, just look just... at him in his face. I mean, okay. did I he mean, have I... a pool at least? Uh, I don't know if he did or not, Brother Jim. Oh that, I think that's an important, because if he didn't, then that's just, that's a little bizarre. He was real tan. Well, yeah. Dude, I mean, he was, he was bronze tan. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, a bronze seventy-year-old man. You know what you need speedo. to do, Ken? You need to you need to buy a speedo and just put it on in the house and and horrify your children. No, they're well, they're not children anymore. I mean, they're that's adults. true. Could you imagine getting up this morning, listening to the radio, and this is the type of conversation we're having currently? Yeah, yeah. You know what? It happens it, about every day, brother. Yeah. <laughs> if people are hearing that, they're probably, they're probably crying I listening to this. <laughs> How would you cry? I would go. <laughs> you know, I'm more of a silent crier, to be honest with you. Like I'm a, I'm a heaving crier. I don't, I don't necessarily. I'm not like a loud crier, and I haven't cried in forever. Let's hear your time. cry, Jeff. Hey, go ahead, Jeff. Do cry. Do I cry. Let it out, dude. Come on, man. Come on, Jeff. Let it out. Uh, honestly, like it's just tears. Usually, I don't make noises. Jeff, I've you, learned to hide it. You've got to release it, Jeff. You need to release it. Come on, Jeff, let it out. The last time Jeff, you're the one that said is it can be very healing and therapeutic. No, yes, in in a certain environment. Imagine being held by a man in some blue Michael Jordan underwear, Jeff. (laughs) In a hot spring. In a hot spring. Surrounded by other men in Oh, I'm throwing I'm throwing hands. Complete strangers. That's when I start throwing hands. Throwing hands. (laughs) You better watch where those hands go. Then somebody would then somebody would go, ow! Yeah. Stop! Stop throwing hands, man. Yeah, I'm. Ex- <clears throat> it's it, yeah, it's all right. It's, it's too early for this. <laughs> hey, Ken, I think I think for the next three three hours and, and eight minutes, we need to make it our mission to make Jeff Malinoff as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> Should we just do that? Like the whole day, we just try to oh, make what I do for my career. How can we make? Oh, you're you're killing your career right now, Jeff. I'm just letting you you know. You know, it's funny. We had I had this conversation with my family. Like, yeah, um, I'm I'm actually leaving my other job at the end of the month, and I'm like, I'm gonna focus on radio. I'm gonna focus trying to uh, get up far- farther in this in my career. Sure. And then this conversation is taking place. By the way, um, Jeff, Mar- that 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 uh, that that only brings me to one conclusion. <laughs> hey, uh, Mar- Mario has. A- hey, Ken. Yeah. Mario on the super text line has a great idea as to how to make Jeff cry. Let's hear it. Show Jeff his pay stub. <laughs> I actually didn't mind it this month. Believe no? it or not. Well, actually, well, this the guy month- that well, he must have gotten paid. Clearly, Jeff, the guy that hired you must have hired you in at a fair and competitive rate. Uh, that's that's to be determined. I, I wow. Got- my last hire, Ken, at WTN yes. was Jeff Malinoff, and, and he just threw me right under I, the oh, bus. Hey, so, somebody Shazam that song. Let's find out who's singing that. Shaz- uh, I can do it. Yeah, I do it, Shazam. Do it. Shazam. Oh, you want to? Yeah, play the this. song again. You ready? Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. Oh, I let myself cry. Uh, uh, All right, okay. so. Oh, Jesus. Do you have enough? Uh, who is it, dude? The picture is. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to show Ken in the screen if you could see. <laughs> That's what I saw. I'll, Wait I'll a minute. Sh- uh, so you got to uh, show it to the camera. Okay, I can show it to the camera. That is the... F- hold on. Let's see if I can maybe just make... It. Oh, hold on. <laughs> That's the dude yeah, singing. Yeah, that's the dude singing. Let's see if I can bring it up. It's not a woman. It's a dude. It's a dude yeah. that looks like a lady. Yeah. Kind of like I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying not to get the glare. <laughs> well, whatever. But that, that's the best we can do. <laughs> it's a disturbing, very close-up so picture. So that's not a song from the 60s. That's so, a new song? I Let Myself Cry by Mitch, M- Mitch Kahn and Nathaniel Goldberg. <laughs> I bet you they live here in Nashville. Oh, um. I'm- they're probably tr- listening to call in now. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm trying. This... I, bet you, I bet you conservative talk radio is what they're really into. Well, you know, they've got friends here in Nashville. They're saying, hey, uh, <clears throat> hey, Mitch. Kenny says it's Natalie Merchant. Kenny, it's not Natalie Merchant. I'm going to see if I can find it Nashville. on um, <laughs> Spotify. I'm going to yeah. try to see if I can find a year on this. <laughs> you know what we can do? Then, then uh, you know, in our, in our ongoing bid, uh, Ken, to make... <laughs> Jeff Malinoff cry. We could just play that song over and over again all day, all morning. Because listen, it's... well, we need for Brother Jeff to let it out, <laughs> to really let it out. I'm not crying today. Sorry, <laughs> Dan. What what would what would your cry be? Oh, I'm uh, I, I, as I said, I'm a I'm a. Listen, people have heard me cry on the air on WTN before. I've cried before. Well, yeah, but I mean that wasn't you know like hot tub crying, right? Right. Surrounded <laughs> by burly dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Anyway, moving right along. Um, I'm telling you, man, <clears throat> there's some weird people out there. You know what I want to do? I want to do something uh, off the uh, off the off the. Where are we at, off Jeff? Do we have how many commercials do we have? Uh, we got a one, two, three. Four, probably five, need. Probably need to get paid. Ten, six, seven. We got eight. Jesus. Got eight breaks. But they're not all sixties, right? Uh, let's look. We got. All right, here's what. I, while Jeff is trying to count, here's what I want to do. And then we got to go to a break. I want people who have never texted in before to text right now. I'm kind of curious as to how many first time texters I can get to text in. And so if you have never texted in before, I just want you to text in right now. A cry? Six, we got about four and a half minutes of breaks. All right. 615 737 9986. 615 737 9986. Text in that you're a first time texter. Say hi. Say whatever. But I just want to know how many first time texters I can get in. We have got to go. It is 556 on Super Talk 99.7 WTN.